Take me to the king, the king, the king, the king, the king. So we're going to start off by opening up the kiss kit. Um, this is like my third time doing my nails. So we have our acrylic powder. And this apple stuff. It's supposed to make the polymer smell good. But I don't really use it because I like the smell of the polymer itself. You have the acrylic primer for your nails. The acrylic liquid. And that's pretty small. And then you have the... The glue for your nails it also comes with a little tube to put the liquid in and a buffer underneath you have your uh, fake nails to put on it also came with a buffer and a stick to push back your cuticles but like i said this is my third time using it and i end up messing up the brush so i buy my own acrylic brushes but you can use a brush in there so we're gonna do a fill in and apply one nail onto the index finger. This uh, the nail set that I had on. I had that on for about two weeks, and because my other hand isn't done, that's because all the other nails on that hand had like basically fell off. So I'm reviewing this kit to say that it will only last for about two weeks. Um, or maybe a week and a half and maybe if you got a shorter length it would it would last longer but after just prepping the nail from buffing it and uh, pushing back your cuticles I'm just getting the set set up I already pulled in my acrylic liquid and right now I'm just fitting a nail on my index finger and it's better to use a bigger nail than a smaller nail but the nails that I have are just right you also can use your scissors to cut the nail to shape it the way you want but in the video you'll see that I'm going to use a drill instead and this actually speeds up the time so on applying the nail I'm just going to press on and make sure that it's on there firmly this is just a difference to see the width that it came with and the width that I'm going to cut it to and the length um, so you're gonna buff out that area make sure that it's real smooth so when you apply the acrylic it's gonna have a smooth transition from the fake nail to the real nail and this is what I was saying about using the drill you can um, buff it out on the sides but I'm in I'm gonna end up using the drill um, to shape the nail itself like I said you could have cut it before um, and the drill is not again does not come with the kit I just have this on my on my own and I'm making them into coffin nails so I'm gonna look at the other nails that I already had for about two weeks prior and just shape them that way um, and this is all in trial and error you'll see that the first time I do it one's a little off but um, like I said it's all about getting it to the shape that you want for the best of your capabilities, especially because I'm pretty sure when you get the kit, you're not gonna have a drill. So, but I suggest you cut the nail, um, file it down to where you want it, uh, and and that worked just the same. When I first did the kit, I ended up cutting it, and it worked just as fine as buffing. Um, excuse me, it worked just as fine as using the drill. And what I'm doing here is using the filer and to make sure that I get it straight, so it kind of comes in not at an awkward angle um, for the coffin tip. So I'm getting ready. Like I said, I have a different brush compared to the one in the kit, but the one in the kit works just fine. So you wanna dip your brush in the liquid and in the powder and make sure it's equal consistency. You can see here the bud is, is pretty thick. Now for me, I like to put my first acrylic bead on the tip what you're going to see here is I'm going to go in with my primer. The thing about this acrylic powder and liquid is that it takes a long time or longer than I expected to dry. That's why I put my primer on second. That way I can save time and I'm not waiting. And after I'm done applying on the tip, I'm going to go in by the cuticle and apply the powder and liquid there. I applied it on the tip first because eventually I'm going to shave 
underneath the nail because I don't like my nails to curve too much. So I'm building up the tip so eventually the nail will end up being straight. But you just want to keep applying it and make a thick layer because at the end of the day you're going to end up shaving off a little more than what you expected, especially because I'm going to use a drill. And you want the layer of acrylic to be thick. I think that's why the nails in the past were falling off because I was using such a thin layer of acrylic. But you live and you learn. Like I said, you're just gonna have to keep pulling the acrylic down towards the tip of the nail and building it up. And you'll get the consistency as you go. Um, and I'm just applying another layer of acrylic primer because just something about last time those nails were just flicking off and just irritating me. So I'm just making sure that I'm going back and, and applying the primer once again to just make sure that this time when I do do my fill in that none of the new acrylic that's coming on is going to pull off the uh, old or existing um, nail. So I'm doing a fill in for the other ones and that's basically the same technique as pu putting it on the first time except I'm more focusing on the cuticle area and I'm pulling it up. Um, and I will say that you, that I said this acrylic takes a long time to dry and working on the consistency is a big thing. Um, and that being said, you wanna make sure, for me personally, I have it more powder than liquid. Cause when it's too liquid, like you see here, it's kinda going off the nail a little bit and onto your actual skin. And though this is an easy fix when you're done, when it dries, you can easily file that off. You just want to make sure it has a flawless finish. So this is the nails after I put the fill in and the new nail. Either a little wonky, you can knock a hollow, they're a little wonky, and they're a little wet. Just make sure they're dry before you start buffing and smoothing it out. So right now I'm going to buff out the area and get the consistency down within all the nails have them a nice base so when i apply my nail polish it's not going to be bumpy or uneven and i'm going to use the drill to even shape the nails even more like i said the acrylic was a little loose so some of it did come off on the sides and doesn't have that sharp shape to the coffin nail i want so that being said, I'm just going to shape them up on the sides and like here you see I'm going underneath the nail to get rid of some of that curvature. I'm using this gel set that I got from Amazon and I'll do a review on that later. I really love the colors green on here. They have like several different shades of green but again this video is not about the gel set. But in conclusion. The kit set, I'd probably give it a six and a half out of ten. I've had my nails done several times, um, so I kind of know how the speed of it should go. And I'm not a, a professional, so for people who are watching this video and see that I'm doing something wrong, please feel free to correct me or tell me a better technique that I should be using to get to get a successful set but a six and a half because the nails were coming off about three days in um, and I'm probably rough on mine and like lesson learned I should have made the acrylic thicker on the nails because the ones on the left hand just bloop, popped off the ones on the right hand like you said stayed on longer however this that shouldn't be happening but until next time ciao Baby boy, I'm on one, do you take it? Tell me how you feeling, cause when I give it up